Hey again, everybody. What's up? I'm back for another gameplay video. This time around, we've got 25 games. <laughs> Literally, that's what it says on it. 25 games. Um, not sure who makes this. Um, it's a mystery. But you can see there's the uh, control pad. That looks decent. I'll, I'll definitely put it through its paces and see if that's any good. Uh, you got the start select button, the power buttons on the bottom. There's your buttons. Um, kind of weird. You got the square and the circle button. And then I guess the ones above them correspond are the turbo, possibly. We'll find that out. There's an L1 and R1 button buttons at the top. So we'll find out what that goes for. Uh, Basically, it's a no-frills game system. It looks just kind of ordinary. Um, <clears throat> got this at Goodwill. Uh, pretty cheap. Uh, it takes three AA batteries. Um, as you can see, there's no cover. It didn't come with a cover. I don't have a cover for it, but you better believe I'll, I'll make sure to cover these games. <laughs> anyway. Um, so let's just dive in and see what this is about. <clears throat> we got 25 games here. I'll try to do this all in one video so we won't break it up into different parts. So, Super Games, let's see what we got going on. That music sounds familiar. <laughs> so it's either of Lexibook, um, uh, Part of Lexibook, they, they, you know, got it from the Lexibook slash Dream Gear game, game pool. These must be like public domain games or something, I don't know. But it does, it does sound familiar. So we've got Motor Rally, Last Cobra, mm hmm. Arrow Engine, Pinball Track, Birdie Nest, Bingo Zap, Bolt Fighter, Excel Racing, Star Alley, Alley. Ally, Firefighter, VR Racing, Elf Land, GP Race, Move Fun, Push the Ball, Ultra Doggy, Catch the Egg, Dark Champion, Dragon Fire, Fish Catcher, Golden Arrow, Jewel Master, Grass Cutter, Sea War, Wyson. Okay, I, I, all these games sound familiar, but let's go through them anyway. <clears throat> Let's start with Motor Rally. I have a feeling what this is going to be about. Motor Rally. I'm trying to see if there is some kind of reset button on here, but it doesn't look like it. I will. Go ahead and just, let me just go ahead and start Motor Rally. Ah, yeah. Square button accelerates. I will say this. Um... On the plug and play, at least one of the plug and plays I played some of these games on, the controller was not good, the D-pad. So this, the D-pad does feel good so far. <clears throat> so if <clears throat> I was going to play these games, this is the preferred way to play because the D-pad just simply is better on this particular plug and play. Makes it a little bit more enjoyable. So, so far this D-pad is pretty good. I can't complain about it. So yeah, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen this game. <laughs> but if I do decide to, to, to take these games and do like a one, focus on one game, I would use this particular plug and play just because the D-pad makes it a lot <clears throat> better. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I don't want to get too into detail or in depth with this. Boy, I do like it though. It does feel pretty good. L and R buttons do not seem to be doing anything on this game. So. All right. Uh, hitting the start to pause. Okay, the select button goes back to the. Um, menu screen so hopefully we're not gonna have too many troubles with the no signal 
Let's see if we got that going. All right. Last Cobra. Let's uh, let's play that one. Again, the uh, square shoots, but the square button or the double triangle button above it is your turbo. So the buttons above the square and the circle are your corresponding turbo buttons. So it's got built-in turbo. And definitely this, uh, I, I will say this D-pad is very good. I like it. I really like it. it makes playing these games uh, a little bit more bearable. <laughs> so I will do a, a focused playthrough of some of these games. I would like to. And see if I can actually beat them. I'd be, be nice. But right now, the focus is to just actually see what's what games are on here. So again, L and R buttons. Well, the L button, L1 button shoots. I'm guessing the L1 button acts as the square button, and the R1 button acts as the triangle button. I bet you that's what what that is. So. Well, there we go. That was last Cobra. Alright, now let's try Arrow Engine. Alright, cool. Played this before. So, th th <laughs> what's funny is these plug and plays, so many of them are just, uh, I'm not going to say they're public domain, but they just churn them out. Sometimes just with different reskins, uh, subtle graphical changes, or sometimes drastically graphical changes, but uh, it's almost like if you buy one of these mysterious plug and plays or anything marked Dream Gear or Lexibook, you, you're you're pretty much buying them all. <laughs> so they just change the amount of games on them. One's 32, one's 25 one's 300 like the Lexi book I had but yeah yeah you know, if, if you've seen my videos or any other videos on YouTube about uh, the plug-and-plays the generic ones you've you've seen these games <laughs> but yeah all right that was arrow engine Pinball track. I mean, right down to the names, it's <laughs> the same. Like here. Again, the D-pad is very good. I like the D-pad. And you get sucked in there, of course. It's it's happened before. Basically, you're going through oh, and trying to avoid the uh, little holes. It's hard to see in this background, but... Basically, you go backwards, go down, go forwards. There we go. Yeah. But okay. There we go. That was Pinball Track. Let's try Birdie Nest. Let's see what this game's about. Whoa. On my actual system uh, TV, it's flickering. You might be able to tell the reflection off of my uh, glasses, but on the video capture, it looks like it's in good shape. But it's definitely flickering on my uh, system, on my CRT TV, which is funny. But basically, this is the same game. You gotta watch the bird poop. Um, just grab the eggs and you have to balance this you're the hand and you're balancing the uh, little flamingo looking thing or whatever it is yeah, it's tough to see because it's, it's it's got double it's like double image right here but it's uh, alright <laughs> enough of that alright that was birdie nest All right, let's try bingo zap let's hope that is alright that's good that's looks good on a CRT. So basically I'm a ball just going into the uh, 
the flashing uh, little star or whatever. It's a momentum kind of based. It's just the way your ball would go with like Marble Madness or anything like that. So, pretty simple. But again, the D-pad makes these games a whole lot better to play. So, alright. That was... Here and grab that. There we go. All right, Bingo Zap, Bolt Fighter. Oh yeah! All right, play this. Down to the music and the sound effects, which are not Konami NES sound effects. Wink. But yeah. Um, it's your, uh, your standard vertical shooter that I've played a lot of times. Uh, again, <laughs> the D-pad is, is very good. I really like it. <laughs> Alright. Bolt Fighter. Let's try Excel Racing. Oh, boy. This is... Love it. All right, this is the one of them. It's that one game. Grab the flags before the guys start chasing after you. I think you meant to make it back to home base as well. So yeah. Here they come. We got some old slicks ready for these guys. I think it's old. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's old slicks, not car droppings or something like that. If so, the cars had a lot of protein. Anyway. Uh, okay. Uh. Alright, that was Excel Racing. Let's try Star Alley. Ally? Alley? Alley! It's Ally. Ally. Not Alley. Alley is with the E. Star Ally. Um. Yeah. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. Whoa, slow down. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, I like these lasers, they're homing lasers. That's good, that's good. Alright, anyway, I, I could go through this. Uh, Firefighter is next, and this is a kind of a fun game I, I've played. I'll definitely play it if I do an in-depth playthrough. It's going to be on this plug-and-play, again, because of the D-pad. D-pad is very nice on this. Saving those people from the buildings and the most uh, oddball way possible. But hey, maybe maybe that's how they do it in other parts of the world. I don't know. Oh, 
right. Looks like we almost got this. Like a breakout type of game. Breakout. Uh, Arkanoid, Alleyway, you name it. Whoa. All right. <clears throat> Guest bonus! Great! We just saved all the guests but uh, one, I guess. Ah, interesting. Stage two. I like this. Alright, I'll, 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 I'll continue up with that. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Cool. Uh, VR Racing. Uh, yeah. Played this before. Let's just start with that level. Uh, kind of the same <laughs> what I just played. Heading to that boat. Your uh, square button accelerates. I think the uh, circle slows you down. Brake. Seems to be a little slower. Than the, than the first one. Alright, yeah. Seems to be a little slower. Let's try Elfland. Alright, this is the one where... There... Love that music! That mu rhythm music, I love it. That's, that's, that's the soundtrack to the these plug-in plays. That song right there. Hmm. So emotional. So much harmony. But basically, I'm this little elf guy, and these little parts right here, you just kind of dip into them, and you turn that color, and then you, you seek out the little elves like that, and then you get them, and see how your see my ink, I guess whatever, I'm filled up the color, it's emptying. So I go over here, I turn red now, so now I can go after the red guys, but say at the same time I'm losing color doing that. So let me go get the blue ones. That you jump, you have a jump button. Press down and jump, and you'll you'll go down the uh, one level. There we go. See, and then boom. Now I'm empty. So refill. That's pretty. It's a pretty simple little uh, game. All right, now I'm red, red ink. Go here, here, get these guys. All right, green. Anyway, you do it for points. Grab that. I don't know if there's an ending to these levels or not, or you just keep you just keep going for score, but. Uh, but anyway, that's that's how you play that game. That's Elfland, uh, GP Race. Oh yeah, magic, just a magical game right there. All right, scene one. Let's hit the start button. All right. That that dramatic. That's more music. I, I tell you, I would love to make a CD of nothing or download the MP3s of nothing but these themes. I might do that. I might actually capture these theme songs to these games and just have them on mp3 and put them on my uh, zoom <laughs> love it all right all right your square is your accelerate be uh, circle uh, slows you down break all right okay we played that that's GP race Move fun. Let's see what move fun is about. All right, let's play. Uh, let's try flowers. Uh, just match up three in a row, I believe, is what you do. Um, yeah, that's what this one's about. Kind of keep your score low. So, I mean, it's not that. Oops, not that hard. So you get the idea. All 
right, move fun. All right, let's move on. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get that signal. Push the ball. All right, all uh, right. Yeah, this is uh, I'm fighting old uh, Neural there. I'm I'm Visine, I think. So yeah, this D-pad makes it a lot better to play than uh, when I had it on the other plug-and-play. Ah! Oh. Alright. Kind of like a shuffleboard type of game, so... Yeah. There we go. Alright. Push the ball, everybody. All right, uh, one of my personal favorites, if it's what I think it is, um, Ultra Doggy. I think it, if it's not mistaken, it's kind of like a Frogger game. Let's see. Oh, baby. Yep. There's also on one of the other Lexi books. There's like a 16-bit version of it where it's got uh, better graphics. Here I am, Ultra Doggy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going through this and seeing if I can get, uh, get to the end. Basically, I'm the dog there. I guess a robotic dog. Go through and grab uh, the keys. Unlock those doors. Go here. Lock the door. No, or actually, probably should. Probably could have got that other key first. There we go. I'll tell you again, this D-pad makes this game easier to play. So there we go. Ultra doggy. Good times. Good times. All right. Next up is Catch the Egg. Alright, I can use Turbo on this, I bet you. Oh no, this is like a momentum kind of based. I'm catching the eggs with a little uh, by a frying pan or whatever. It looks like a arm holding the frying pan in a weird way. But it's momentum based, so I can't stop on a dime. You just kind of... Boom. Kind of have to time it, yeah. That's the challenge of this game, so. Alright. That was. Well, you know. Egg. Catch the egg, okay. <laughs> Dart Champion. Let's try a Dart Champion. Oh boy, is this that one game? Alright. want to get this. It has something to do with moving left and right and hitting the buttons. want to get that. Dark Champion. Dragonfire looks like a snake game to me. Definitely worth playing though with, again, this D-pad. It doesn't feel like a chore. It feels like something you want to do. Whoops. 
Alright, we get this. See how easy and fluid it was for me to kind of go. Very cool. Alright. That was Dragonfire, aka Snake. Fish Catcher. I know this game. Catch the fish. Hit the tr uh, square button. And your arm extends and you catch fish. But you got can't catch the bombs. Can't catch them. It's frowned upon. Alright, here we go. Alright. those fish swimming, I guess. I guess it's uh, the swim sound. Ah, fishing was only this easy. Alright, anyway, that was uh, fish catch. I'm going to go ahead and fish catcher. Let's try golden arrow. Mm, sounds familiar. Hold down the square button to. The longer you hold it down, the. the further your angle will go. There we go. So it looks like you might want to try to get your angle at five. Yeah, kind of time it where the angle's at five, so you... Very close, yeah. And once you do that, then, you know, get get a bullseye just about every time. That was Golden Arrow. Alright, let's see here. Jewel Master. Alright. Uh, columns. Or not columns. Wink. match three up in a row. I think you can do it diagonally too, or you can match more than three. Well, maybe not. Maybe not diagonally. I think you can match more than three. So, boom. Alright, here we go. Four. That's going to be four in a row. There we go. Yeah, I don't know about diagonally. Let's see here. Not exactly diagonal. But anyway, that is. You get the idea, though. Right. I'm gonna see if you can. Let's see if they can match up diagonal. Alright, well. Yeah, you can diagonally. Okay. That, I, I kind of thought maybe you could, but I wasn't sure. Anyway, that was. Uh, Jewel Master, not Columns. Okay. Alright, let's see. Next one up is Grass Cutter. Alright. Buttons aren't doing anything. But I am cutting that grass. Which I'm... I'm glad it's winter time right now. I don't have to cut the grass. But spring will be here soon. That rain making that grass grow instantaneously. All right, here we go. Those darn clouds. All right, here we go. Getting that grass cut. Maybe getting some mulch over. 
over it later, some areas. If you want to plant stuff, maybe, I don't know. Alright. Alright! That's a grass cutter. Sea War! Let's try Sea War. Okay, this is... Dropping those depth charges. Drop three at a time. That's what the uh, square button does. Of course, that's the turbo button. Meow. Mm -hmm. So it's just a strategy. Ah. Oh. oh. Womp womp. Anyway. Sea War. Wison. Let's try Wison. We'll uh, start with one. Alright, this is the little puzzle game where uh, you kind of have to get these pieces in order. The uh, circle button grabs your piece and drops it. While you're holding the piece, you can hit uh, the square button and it'll rotate your piece. So Just don't forever hold your piece. Anyway. Um, Alright, let's see here. Probably did this wrong. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Just thinking maybe I did that wrong. Alright. Great, there we go. That fit the pieces in the puzzle, basically. Alright. That was Wyson. Motor Rally. I think I think we did it. Yep, that was it. Okay, Motor Rally is the first one I did, and then Last Cobra. Okay! Well, there we go. That was 25 games. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Wow. Wow, where does the time fly? I mean, if only there were, like, four times as many of this, you know. Or, or eight, or twelve. Darn. Anyway, that was the 25 games. Plug and play. It says it right there. 25 games. <laughs> no other branding, no anything else on it, so... Um, yeah. It was alright. What made these games a lot better is that D-pad. That right there, it definitely is probably the best D-pad since the LexiBook 300 that I did because it had NES like controllers and I really like those and then this one right here so it kind of makes a difference on the games even though they're kind of generic and everything at least the d-pad doesn't make it seem like a chore to play them so mm. so join me next time we we're, we're rocking these we're knocking out all these plug and plays that I've got so we're down to the last few I figure next time around yeah I mean, it's a plug-and-play, so I'll do that one as well. Um, next time around, we're going to uh, try... Yep, that's uh, Hannah Montana plug-and-play game system. So, interested to see how that plays and what goes on with that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, HM herself, Hannah Montana. So, join me next time for that plug-and-play. And again, we're knocking them out. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos and kind of give you an idea of what uh, what I'm going through <laughs> with these plug and plays. Nah, I don't mind them. They're, they're cool. But uh, thanks again for joining me, and I will see you next time on another gameplay video. Take care.